Loss can leave you feeling unbalanced, hurt, hopeless, anxious, angry, faithless, frustrated, as well as envious of others. God is an incredible source of comfort, help, and love for the wounded soul. He knows all, He can heal all, and He has the ability to change any situation. One of the greatest benefits of loss is the ability to grow closer to God. There isn't a relationship on earth that can compete with a sold-out relationship with God. As you grow closer to God, He helps you to have the courage to do a true inventory of your life. You get an opportunity to see what has worked, and what hasn't. You gain the ability to see where you went wrong, and what you can do better from here on out. Loss also allows you to be wiser when dealing with future situations and other people. You gain the valuable opportunity to see life from a new perspective if you look for it. It isn't easy, and looking for the good in loss, or gaining a new perspective, can be very challenging at times, but loss truly is an opportunity to clearly see the remaining good in your life. It also allows you to learn from past mistakes or other people's mistakes. When you look at the remaining good people and good things in your life, and also the lessons you have learned from trauma, disappointments, and loss, that's a powerful opportunity to develop a deep gratitude for God and others. Nothing is more effective at turning the negative emotions of loss into something of great value than allowing God to cultivate a heart of gratefulness in and through your struggles. It helps you to create a new normal. After thoroughly mourning your loss, look for the good in your life and thank God for all you have left include Him, people, talents, gifts, abilities, memories, health, a home and everything in your home, a car, food, as well as the little things in life, etc. There is a time to focus on your loss, it helps you to work through your heartache and learn powerful lessons, but if you focus only on the losses, traumas, disappointments, and frustrations of your life, all you'll see and experience is a life of loss. Focus on the good and you'll eventually begin to see life as good and have the ability to live a good life, even in spite of circumstances. Ask God to help you to create a new normal and the ability to see and be grateful for all the good in your life every single day. At that time I will gather you, at that time I will bring you home. I will give you honor and praise among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your very eyes, says the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned, or received, or heard from me, or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you.